and Fletcher Brown live here at uh, in the Kicks I Six Studios with our special guest, first time ever to Kicks I Six and our artist video blog section, uh, all the way from uh, the great state of California, which you know I am personally connected to, um, by way of Nashville, of course. Please welcome Cynthia Renee. Cynthia, how are you? I'm doing great. How you doing today, Fletch? Uh, I'm pretty good. I loved reading about you before you got here, you know, so that I knew what I was talking about, you know, before we sat down. And uh, you're Northern California girl, aren't you? I am. I actually, um, I grew up in Redlands, oh, California, okay. but then I moved, I migrated to the north probably about 20, 25 years ago, and I've been in Sacramento area. Since and then. see, that was, see, that's where my niece lives in Sacramento, her and her family. Nice. She's been trying to get me to come visit her for a long time. Yeah, and, and Northern California is very different from mm -hmm. Southern California. Like, we don't have the beaches and stuff, but you go a little east of Sacramento and you got Lake Tahoe, which mm -hmm. is beautiful. So, and then you mm -hmm. got San Francisco not too far. So we got all the good stuff too, but yeah. it's, you know, a little different than Southern California. See, I'm going to have to keep that in mind. See, all my, my, my brothers and a couple of other family members, they all live in like Oakland, San Francisco area, you know, like yeah, down yeah. there near the Bay. But you know, she lives up in Sacramento. She's the only one that's up there, Sacramento. Yep, you know, so. yep. Sacramento's great. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. So, um, but I also know that um, there's a lot of really, really great music that comes out of Northern California. If you haven't been paying attention for the last, I don't know, 60 years, you um, probably missed that there are a, a lot of really, really quality uh, musicians over the over the decades that have come out of the Northern California area, and um, not too uh, few of them have been country artists. So growing up in that area, the Northern California, was country something that was just kind of a part of your life, uh, you know, through all of it? Or? You know, I, I have to say that actually, no, that I actually grew up more um, doing rock and kind of that side of things, but um, I always had like a little bit of country in me. I, I guess you could say I'm a little bit country, a little bit of rock and mm -hmm. roll. So um, when I signed the Nashville deal that I recently signed with SSM, SSM Nashville, I really started kind of focusing on country, but with a little bit of a rock edge to it. So that's kind of what I do. And I've looked at artists from Melissa Etheridge to Sheryl Crow to, you know, I've always loved Dolly Parton. So a lot of broad inspirations, I think, go into what mm -hmm. makes up, you know, Cynthia Renee and a little bit of my own flair. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah. I mean, your your current single, Working on a Hangover, clearly showcases the rock influences uh, that brought you to music. Uh, so um, let's talk. Did, now, is that a song that you wrote? Is it co-wrote? It is, or? yeah. So I co-wrote that song with Dustin James out of Nashville. And it's just a fun, you know, true Nashville, probably Broadway bar kind of song. And it was just something that we came up with. We'd been doing songwriting sessions all day that day. I was pretty tired out and um, he came up with a little lick and he said, what about this? And I'm like, yeah, like working on a hangover. And I said, yeah, that sounds great. So we just kind of went with it and we just ended up with like a really fun, you know, easy to listen to kind of song. Absolutely. So now is the album done? Is that, or is that uh, still forthcoming? still in the process. Okay. Yep. Yep. So I just signed a label deal. So we're going to have about eight songs by the end of this. And we're working on a music video as well that we'll have. And um, so, yeah, this is my first um, actual radio release. So hmm. we just released to the Music Row uh, record charts and uh, we'll see where it goes. All right. Yeah. Well, welcome to Country Radio. Thank you. Uh, a couple of other things that are interesting about Cynthia Renee. Uh, you actually have a doctorate mm -hmm. and you're a lawyer. I am a lawyer. All right. So it's like, and you, so basically what I'm hearing is that you said, I'm going to take this very promising professional career and just be like, you know what, I'm going to put that up there and pick up a guitar and go <laughs> sing songs. Um, what, can I ask, what, I mean, what made you make that, that complete turn, that almost 180? That's a good question. And I actually get that question a lot. So I've actually been um, a singer my whole life. I grew up singing in my grandpa's church ever since I was, you know, eight, nine years old. And I've always had music in my life, but I'm at a point in my law career now that I can actually put more time into it. And um, I just have embraced it the last couple of years. Um, I've gotten more into songwriting and I'm just really kind of developing that whole side. And I'll, you know, Law will always be there, but music may not. So I got to I got to go with music right now. Yeah, I guess when they tell you, well, I hope you've got something to fall back on. You can pretty much be like, yeah, I'll check. That's what I'm my gonna... parents told me, which is why I got my law degree. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, precisely why. But I mean, it's like you, you don't even stop there. It's amazing the things that you've actually dipped your hand into, because it's like not only do you you know sing and play and write songs, not only are you um, educated in law, uh, you have a doctorate. You also you've written a children's book. I just wrote a children's book and that's near and dear to my heart. I wrote a children's book. It's called Find Your Voice and it's really my own personal autobiography, but in kind of a little children's form. 
And it's really about, I, I was very shy when I was young and I was picked on, I was bullied for being shy. And so I found that music was kind of my escape. And I ended up finding out that people actually enjoyed listening to me sing. And so um, they kind of embraced me at that point. And so with Find Your Voice, it's about other people, other children, you know, finding their unique talent that they can find a way to connect with the world. And so that's what that book's about. There are a number of really, really interesting things about uh, Cynthia Renee that you have to learn. So if somebody is listening right now and they're like, I have to learn everything I possibly can about Cynthia Renee, where do they go and find you on the Internet? So you can go to CynthiaReneeMusic.com. That's my website. And um, you can read about you know, my biography and you can read about kind of what my journey has been like and where I'm going from here. Absolutely. The single is working on a hangover. It's great if you want to hear it. Call us at Kix96. We'll gladly play it for you. And uh, look for Cynthia and Renee uh, around. Hopefully, you get on tour. You'll be coming to uh, some cities close to us here in the Shoals area. I would love that. Yeah, Absolutely. Forward to it. Big, big party with Cynthia and Renee. Uh, we'll see you next time on another artist video blog. Kix96country.com. Working on a hey.